Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video all about my perfume collection, which has been kind of heavily requested lately. Whenever I mention a perfume or anything, you guys always want to see a collection, which I don't blame you because I really like these types of videos as well. This one's a little different because I'm going to be talking about my favorite perfumes. I'm going to do like a top five thing at the beginning. Also talk about my three favorite men's colognes that my husband really likes that I, that are my favorite, obviously. And then I'm going to show you my big perfume collection at the end. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, before I get started though, I do want to say that I will be at IMATS this weekend in LA, so definitely come say hi every year. You know, I've been there the past, I believe, three years. Three years. Um, this will be my fourth year going, and it is always such a great experience to see so many of you all there that, because everyone there is really there like for the same reasons. They love makeup. You know, a lot of people there are involved in the YouTube community, so it's so fun to see people that are my subscribers, to kind of interact face to face, so definitely come by and say hello. I will be there on the 19th and 20th, uh, both days of the event, at the Sigma Beauty booth from 10 a.m. to 12. So definitely come by and say hello. I'll be doing like makeup demos and stuff, um, and then obviously, you know, talking to you all and yeah, so we'll get to chat. How fun is that? So it's just so fun to meet you guys, and I enjoy it so much every year. So um, definitely stop by if you're planning on coming or if you're in the area, plan on coming. It's fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the video. I'm going to start by showing you guys kind of my five favorites. So here we go. Okay, so number one would definitely have to be my Gucci 2. And yes, this is in a particular order because this one is my absolute favorite. I'm almost out. This is one of the first gifts that my husband ever gave me and I've gone through so many since then. I did save the original bottle in the box. So I think it was like the first gift that he ever gave me. Um, when we first started dating almost 10 years ago. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy that I've loved this stuff for that long, but it just smells so good. It makes me so happy when I smell it, and it is amazing. If you have never smelled it, it is very unique and yummy and delicious. I love it because it smells kind of nice. It smells a little more, like, sophisticated, but it's not super, super heavy and, like, old smelling. Um, I really like it. Next, just because I've been loving this for years, this was probably the first perfume. It was definitely the first perfume that I ever fell in love with. Just the Ralph, just the regular Ralph, Ralph Lauren. And Brad, my husband, always says that this kind of reminds him of me. Like when I when I use it now and he smells it, he's just like, oh, I like that, you know. When we were first kind of like dating and stuff um, and hanging out like in college and stuff, I always wore this and this was just my scent. And again, I've probably gone through so many bottles of this over the years. I started wearing it in high school and wore it all through college and... There's just, I don't know, when you smell a scent, you know, it's just funny how perfumes can kind of remind you of, like, I don't know, that just reminds me of being, like, in high school and college, but also reminds me of, like, dating Brad and stuff. So, I don't know, I like it. Um, then, The Chance by Chanel. This is just a classic that I love. I'm not a fan of the original Chanel Number no. 5. I think it smells great um, when I smell it on other people, but I don't like it on me because I just think it smells a little too old. Um, not that that's bad, but I just think it just smells a little too heavy and intense. But I really love this one. Um, yeah, The Chance by Chanel. Love it so much. It smells very sophisticated. I think that's kind of like the sense that I'm most drawn toward. All the Ralph is like extremely fruity and like... But I usually only wear this in the summer. Next is The Very Hollywood by Michael Kors. It was really hard for me to choose between this one and the original, like just the regular Michael Kors. But the regular Michael Kors, I never wear on its own. Although I love it so much, I think it's a little heavy and intense to wear by itself. I always mix it with something else. Um, this one I chose over that one just because it's similar in scent. But it's a little fruitier and a little more floral and nicer to wear like... Or not fruitier, it's, it's definitely more floral. But it's, um, it's nice enough to wear on its own. And then lastly, the Burberry Weekend is amazing. I love this stuff so much. It's very, very strong. Like, you really only need, like, one spray of it. Um, it is intense, but I love it. It smells very, very floral. It's probably the most floral perfume that I own. It is intense, but if you wear it right and you don't put a lot on, it smells so great, and I always get compliments when I wear that, and not a lot of people have heard of it. Maybe they have. I've never heard of it. A lot of people that I tell about it have never heard of it, so that's just why I keep saying that. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you all of my collection. 
Okay, so if you have seen my recent video on my makeup collection, this whole little area should look familiar to you all. If you want to see how I organize all of this, then definitely check out that recent video. I'll link to it um, in the more info below the video. But I showed you that I keep my perfume in here now. This is kind of like our second little guest bedroom where I keep all of my makeup and where I film videos. It's just out of the way. It's nice, and I like having all my stuff in here. Um, if, again, you want to see how I set all that up, check out that video because I show you my vanity and everything. But this is my perfume collection. I keep it on top of these um, two Alex six drawer units from Ikea that I have been loving. Um, this little tray was a very cheap little find at Pier 1. I just really liked the finish of it. It's a little plastic tray. It's gold. And I really like it a lot. Now I have been collecting perfume for a while. The scent does change over time, so you definitely, it's not ideal to like collect tons of perfume and keep it for years. Um, a lot of mine is, you know, within a couple years old, um, all the ones that I use, and some of them much newer than that because I go through a lot of them quickly, a lot of mine that I really like. And probably the oldest one that I have on here is this. It's the Escada Sexy Graffiti that I've had since high school, and it's sentimental, so I keep it. Um, but this one actually the scent has not changed and it's insane because probably had that for maybe 11 years I don't even that's crazy to me so yeah um, but anyways I'm just gonna kinda show you quickly I keep my favorites in the front ones that I use the most um, this one I really love it's the Tommy Hilfiger Dreaming it's not really available a lot of places anymore the Gucci 2 is probably my number one have the Gucci Flora Tuberose, the Jessica Simpson Vintage Bloom, which I've really been enjoying, Chanel Chance, which is always a favorite of mine, the Jessica Simpson Fancy Love, I really like that one as well, um, the Burberry Weekend, I don't think it's a, a lot of love, like, from anyone, a lot of people I don't think have really heard of it, at least, like, people that I know personally, and, like, friends and stuff, it smells amazing, and it's a little bitty baby bottle. Very Hollywood by Michael Kors is one of my standout faves as well as the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I really love that. The regular Michael Kors is always a favorite of mine. I love mixing it with other things as I talked about in a recent video. The Viva La Juicy I love. I just have some little minis back there, just cutesy little things. Um, the Katy Perry is actually really good. I love that a lot. I haven't been wearing it lately, but that is a good one, the little purple cat. Um, the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It's really nice and fresh. It's kind of citrusy. I always want to like it, but it's just not something that I keep coming back to. I really want to like that, though. This is called, it's by Benefit, what's it called? C and B Scene Sasha. That smells pretty good. Um, the regular Juicy Couture, which that one has changed since so much, and I've had it for maybe like, I don't know, two years, three years. It smells totally different, like doesn't even smell like the same stuff. I don't even know. Um, the Ralph, just the regular Ralph, this has been a favorite of mine since high school, um, and this is a fairly new bottle. I have gone through so many of those. I just, I love that scent for the summertime. It's always going to be a favorite of mine. I keep my little roller balls up here as well. Um, I have the Clean, which smells really good. It smells honestly like detergent, and it's weird, but I really like it. The Chloe, which is good, but I just haven't really bonded with it. And again, the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. The Sexy Graffiti that I mentioned before. Another Escada scent, which I really like these for the summer. This one was from a couple years ago, or last year. It was um, Taj Sunset. And a MAC. I think this is like the tur Turquoise Heat or whatever. I forgot what it's called. It smells really good. Um, the Abercrombie Classic, which just kind of, I don't know, it's it's good. I've had it for years and years. The SJP NYC, which smells like Kool-Aid. Not a scent I'm really crazy about, da -da -da, but it smells pretty good. This one, the, oh, it's rubbing off. The La Vanilla Vanilla Coconut. This is the scent of that deodorant that I'm obsessed with. And I like this one, although it used to be totally clear and it changed colors, but it still smells just as good. Really, really yummy, yummy scent. Love it. This is a Bath and Body Works Irresistible Apple, which smells good. Don't wear that a lot. And then this is, wow, why can't I remember the name? Ed Hardy. Almost forgot. Um, it's kind of a cute bottle. Not my favorite scent. You know, 
just a little cheesy, but I like it. It smells okay. Um, yeah. So that, oh, I forgot my little mermaid gal. Oh, and I forgot this. I forgot a whole little section right here. Um, the coach, I believe this one is, yeah, I think it's just coach. I know that they have one called like legacy or something else, but, um, maybe that's what it is. It doesn't say anything on the bottom. It just says coach. It's the one with the little rainbow thing. I don't know. I like it. I think it smells good. I don't wear it often though, but it smells really yummy. This is bizarre to me because it's one of those Harajuku little scents. Let me see what it's called exactly. Harajuku Lovers G is the scent. And this was the Little Mermaid edition. And I love it. I think it's precious. But it does not smell like anything. No joke. You can spray on so much and it smells like nothing. But I love it so much because how can you not love that? She's so cute. As far as men's cologne is concerned, because I don't want to leave them out, obviously he really likes, and I really like the Gucci 2 for men. It's kind of like, you know, these kind of go together. And the notes are very similar to the women's, but it's very masculine. Um, I would wear this just on me. And I have sprayed it on myself before because I love smelling it that much. Um, I just, I love this bottle. It's just beautiful. Um, I don't know. I just love it so much. And it's a little harder to find, I've noticed. But, um, but you can definitely find it. It's, it's really, really good stuff. Shh, don't talk. It's totally fun sometimes wearing this cologne. Oh well. Um, and then another one that I've, that's kind of his newest one that I really like is the Gucci Guilty. It smells really good. Um, Gucci just does really great scents, I think. Um, yeah, this one smells very good. It still kind of like has that sweetness, that underlying sweetness that the Gucci 2's have, but it smells a little fresher, and it's just very like but masculine at the same time. And then this one goes back, like I said, this is just the one that he has always worn like from the first time like I met him, and from just from the very beginning, he's always worn this one. This is a very like manly, like classic masculine smelling perfume, it's, or cologne. It's the Hugo Boss. I really love that one. So this one's very, very manly. I like it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I think that perfume is kind of like a very personal thing and it can kind of like, it's very, I think, unique. While there's definitely perfumes that are obviously, you know, very popular and a lot of people wear them, I think that it just kind of says a lot about a person, like the groupings of things that they like and I don't know, I just think that perfume is such a fun personal thing. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and obviously I did, because you see how much perfume that I have. So, tell me your favorite perfume in the comments, just fun. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all very soon.